somebody like me. Oh, uh, hey kids, welcome to Slobby Vibe Studio. We got an amazing show for you today, so let's take a look. Once upon a time, Napoleon Bonaparte found himself standing outside the grand doors of the Palace of Versailles, ready to be crowned King of France. As he entered the palace, he felt a sense of unease wash over him. He had worked so hard to rise to power, but now that he was on the brink of becoming king, he realized that it wasn't what he truly wanted. Instead of proceeding with the coronation, Napoleon turned on his heel and made his way to a nearby bakery. There, he ordered a large slice of cake and a freshly baked pizza. As he sat at a small table, savoring the delicious food, he felt a sense of peace wash over him. Napoleon realized that he didn't want to be a king who lived a life of luxury and excess. He wanted to be a leader who fought for his people and made a lasting impact on the world. And so, he made the decision to abdicate the throne and focus on his true calling, leading his army to victory. From that day on, Napoleon Bonaparte became known not as a king, but as a brilliant military strategist and leader. He led his troops to many victories, forever changing the course of history. And whenever he felt the urge to indulge in some cake and pizza, he knew that he had made the right decision by following his heart. Wow, what an amazing story. I know, right, Bluesy? Hey, Slugger, why do you choose baseball as a sport instead of basketball? Well, I don't know. I just like to pitch certain things. Like what? Like pitching in to had some pizza candy with you. <laughs> yeah, very funny. Very funny, Slugger. Anyway, I'm going to go out to do some taxes. Don't bother me till I'm done. Okay, then. Time to play ball. Let's play ball! Yeah. Ow! What the heck, Slugger? Why you hit the ball at me? Oh, sorry, Bluesy. I'm trying to make a pitch. Okay, it's understandable. I know you like baseball. Just don't bother me, okay? I'm doing taxes. Ow! Slugger, how could you? Oh, sorry. Sorry, Bluesy. It was an accident again. Okay. Alright, I forgive you this time. But next time, I'm not gonna forgive you, okay? Now please, I need to do these taxes. It's tax day. Oh, okay. Ow! Slugger! What the heck? I said I told you not to throw that baseball at me. It wasn't me, Bluesy. It wasn't me. Don't you lie, Slugger. I know it's you. No? I wasn't the one playing baseball. I was in my room the whole time. Oh, well, did it. Who the heck are you? Uh, I'm uh, Slibby. I'm the one through the baseball. <laughs> People, I tell ya. Welcome to the Tic-Tac-Toe game. John will be X and Emily will be O. Let's start the game. John, please choose your move. I choose position 1. Emily, please choose your move. I choose position 5. John, please choose your move. 
I choose position two. Emily, please choose your move. I choose position nine. John, please choose your move. I choose position three. Congratulations, John. You are the winner. Congratulations, John. You are the winner. Thank you for playing tic-tac-toe with us. Hope to see you again. Thank you for playing tic-tac-toe with us. Hope to see you again. Thank you for playing tic-tac-toe with us. Hope to see you again.
Come on, stupid. Get the bird. Oh. Give me the bird. Give me the bird. If the Hayes office would only let me, I'd give him the point, all right. Ashamed? I don't know. Why do you do these things? I'm a bad pussycat. Oh, I just can't seem to get the boy. Ain't no use. Don't worry. I can't do it. This'll get you up there. Contact. 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 Well, 
kids, that wraps up our show today, so we have to say goodbye now. Goodbye. 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 Say goodbye to your kneecaps, chucklehead. Goodbye. Bye-bye. Goodbye. Bye. Goodbye. You know the rules, and so do I. Say goodbye.